When I think of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra as a genuine experience, the innovative programming that they put together is not because someone's sitting and scratching their head saying, well, what can we do differently today? It's something that's genuine because our community works together and the city has a history of pushing that boundary. One thing that the CSO seems to do really early on is be innovative with its programming. Now the very first program that it put on, it had Beethoven and Mendelssohn and Weber, the stalwarts of the 19th century orchestra and in some ways still of ours today. But then you also find premieres, it gives world premieres to works by Bela Bartok, who's almost unheard of in this country uh, in the early 20th century, Arnold Bax, a number of composers on the continent. You see these premieres happening very early on in the CSO's tenure. You know, we played many U.S. premieres from Gustav Mahler, from Debussy, Ravel, Honegger, Mio, Kurt Weil, etc. That's one thing, that's a thing from the past. But when the CSO performed the U.S. premiere of Mahler V, it was then contemporary music. I think it's really important to push the boundaries of music and have a steady diet of new music in any orchestra's repertoire because all music was new at one time. We have been over a century of helping to find and promote the great music of those times. I think we owe it to future generations to keep that creation going so that the future generations have their cultural classics because they're constantly being made. <laughs>
that our university and here our symphony orchestra would really look like the city in which we live. Right now it does not. Really when we talk about changing the face of the American Symphony Orchestra, it's a bold vision, but it's a vision that's being realized in the city of Cincinnati. It speaks to our leadership too and our you know, the conductors and, and everyone, administration, that everyone's kind of pushing towards that goal, which is awesome. They're pushing the vocabulary of what an orchestra can do. It keeps the musicians interested, it keeps the conductors interested, it keeps the audiences interested. If you know what you're going to hear, or always, the way you're going to hear, why should you come? Because you know in advance. It's not like that with CSO. There are always wonderful surprises.